Two car dealerships, one problem. I've never seen anything like this. I've never experienced this before. The devastating earthquake struck Japan more than two months ago, but some of the effects are just now hitting American soil. Automakers aren't operating at full speed, and that means we could see a car shortage this summer. We're probably going to get about, in round numbers, 70 cars a month. We'll be about 30 percent down uh, for the normal numbers that we normally get for this time of year. So. It's not great. On a typical month, you could be earning anywhere between 140 to 200 vehicles per month, right? So now we're in a situation where we are seeing that we are earning anywhere between 40 vehicles a month. That's a drastic reduction. The auto industry has been through tough times before, but what makes this situation so unique is that dealers don't know when things will get back to normal. There's still a little bit of, of uncertainty as far as exactly when we're going to get cars, what we're going to get, what the numbers may be. There's really not a real good forecast where normally you could forecast what you're going to get. Why is it a problem business-wise to not be able to forecast? Well, because you have to know whether or not you can, uh, whether you can um, pay your bills. And ultimately, paying the bills is the issue. We have a huge responsibility. We're responsible for people. And, you know, we're also responsible for making sure that people's needs are met. It's, so, yeah. If you're asking, let's put it this way, I don't sleep very well, you know. Unfortunately, there's not much these business owners can do. They don't make the cars and they can't change what's available. So they're literally watching business walk out the door. woman walked in, she wanted a specific model. Uh, we, you know, unfortunately, I mean, and, and, and that's, it's fine with people when they want what they want. We didn't have it. And I just, I didn't, I didn't have it. I tried my best. This is a supply and demand business. So with fewer cars available, prices are rising. Edmunds.com says overall car prices are up $350 since the earthquake. So if you want options and lower prices. You really, really need to come out and start looking now if you want to get something. If you're thinking about buying a vehicle this calendar year, now is the time. Because as we've all experienced, we don't, we, we just can't predict what may or may not happen. Allison Kosick, CNN. New York.